Hi guys, Paul the DIY Guy here, and I recently picked up a copy of the game Splendor. Now, if you have not played the game before, it is very easy to learn, but very difficult to master. But that is not what I'm here for today. Today, I'm going to deal with the ridiculously bad packaging that comes inside this box. Now, this is the size of the box that it comes with. I think we can do a lot better. So today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own box for Splendor. Check it out. You're going to need the following. A sheet of 3 16 inch foam core, the pattern, some of which will need to be printed on sticker paper, I'll put a link in the doobly-doo, a straight edge, a rabbit cutter, I'll also put a link to where you can get one in the doobly-doo, a utility knife, an X-Acto knife, white glue, some sewing pins, and splendor itself. First cut all the pieces of the pattern out of the paper, but leave the holes uncut for now. Then using these, cut out all of the pieces from the foam core. This will not include the stickers for now. Now try to get these as accurate as possible, as the better the cuts, the better it will all fit together in the end. And when cutting out the smaller pieces, be sure to take your time, and I recommend using the X-Acto knife instead of the utility knife, since it's a bit easier to do the smaller cuts. Next we're going to cut out all of the notches, starting with the two offset side pieces. Now these two are the most difficult to get right, you'll need to make sure you're cutting the notch out of the proper side. To do this, Use one of these pieces to find out which side leaves a 3 16 inch gap at the bottom. This will be the side you need to notch out. Now when cutting the second offset side out, you need to be sure to notch out the opposite side, so that when placed opposite each other, they both have the notches pointing inwards. Again, using a piece to determine which side to notch, take one of the remaining side pieces and notch out three sides making sure that the long side is where the 3 16 inch gap is. And repeat for the last side piece. Then, notch both sides out of two of the top side pieces. And finally, notch out all four sides of the top piece. Okay, so for this section, I managed to accidentally not record the assembly process. So I'll describe what goes where and use some arrows to help show you what I mean. First, put the short centerpiece with its tab in the slot of the bottom piece. Then put the long centerpiece in opposite this. Glue and pin one of the evenly spaced side pieces to the bottom. And then glue and pin the uneven side pieces to the bottom. Now please note that the slot of the uneven side piece needs to line up with the notch in the long centerpiece so that the crossbar piece can be put into place. Speaking of the crossbar piece, that needs to go in next. Put it in through the side pieces slot and push it down on top of the long centerpiece. There should be no need to glue this piece in place. Next, glue and pin the other uneven side piece on. Make sure the crossbar tab is in the slot. Finally, glue and pin the final side piece onto the bottom. Make sure that all of the side pieces are pinned securely around the box. And once that's done, your box should look like this. Next up, take two of the rectangular pieces and glue them inside the long segments of the box. Repeat this for the other side. Then take the spacer pieces with the notched out bottom and glue them to each side of the short center piece. Once those are in, glue the two spacer pieces that don't have the notch onto the long center piece in the long segments. And that's how the base is assembled. Once that's done, it's time to assemble the lid. Glue all around the four sides of the top piece and along the sides of the two notched out side pieces. Now make sure that the notch on each side piece is facing away from the top piece and then pin them all into place. And then let everything dry. I highly recommend leaving it sit overnight. Once everything is dry, it's time to cut out all of the sticker pieces. These you just peel and apply to each panel of the lid. Make sure to line up the notched out pieces on each side, and apply the top sticker as evenly as you can. Stickers applied, it's time to put all of the components of the game into their new box. Split the gems into two piles, and put each half into the short segments. Then split the noble tiles into two piles, and put each into the bottom of the long segment. And finally, split the cards into two piles and put each into the long segments. I've also included a printable, condensed copy of the rules. Just cut off the white border, fold in half, and then in half again. This can fit on top of everything when you're done. Gently put the lid on, and you're all done. And that is all there is to it. Enjoy your brand new and much more compact Splendor Box. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button if you have not done so already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Until I see you next time, Stay crafty, my friends.